Hey you guys. You know, so many of you have asked what happened to my foot. Over the past couple years, I mean, we've gotten countless comments and questions, all very polite, very inquisitive as to what happened to my foot. And so I wanted to make a video not only telling you, but showing you and explaining to you what all happened. It was a day just like today, um, three o'clock in the afternoon, October 26th, 1983. And I was seven years old. And at that time, all this area where we are right now was rural. I mean, this was a little tiny road called Roebuck Road. In front of us is Loxhatchee River Road, which I grew up maybe 400 yards over there. In my last recollection of that day, beautiful day, I was out riding with my cousin and some other friends. There were three horses up in front of me. I was on a 110 Honda, an ATC, and I was stopped on the side of the road, right about on the other side of the road, right there. And I only had one rule in my life. Don't cross that road. Loxhatchee River Road was the road, and I was not allowed to cross it. And up until that fateful day, I never did. So as we came out here, everybody was gonna go across the road over to a girl's house named Jennifer Johnson. Well, at seven years old, all I was cared about was riding my three-wheeler. And I knew if everyone went over there, I'd be by myself and I'd have to go back home. So as everyone left, I sat right there wondering, should I go, should I not go? Good angel said, go home, don't cross the road, that's against the rule. Bad angel was like, no way, you don't wanna go home, cross the road. And as everyone left, I saw him go across the road. I'm gonna drive up here and show you exactly where everything happened. <clears throat> I took off riding down this side of the road on my three-wheeler, and in my mind, I saw them cross the road. So I thought it was safe to go. So I just took off and as I crossed the road, I'll actually pull over. As I took off, I crossed the road right here and there was a car coming from the north heading southbound and it smashed me. I ran right out into the road, totally my fall. You know, as I hit the road, bam, everything went crazy. I don't remember anything after that. This, was, this wasn't an intersection like this. This was just a little two lane, two lane road here. There was a stop sign. And as I hit the intersection, knocked my motorcycle way down, or knocked my ATC way down the road. And it threw me, at, those, at, at that time, those were just little oak trees over there. And it threw me over into those trees on the side of the road. The windshield hit my eye like this. The grill of the car ripped my hip open. And then the bumper, the bumper hit me here. The, the engine of my ATC was right here, and it essentially snapped it in half, just crushed it. At the 20 year mark, uh, there was a lady named Helen Green. She was actually, that house was there at that time. She was in this house. And when she heard the accident, she came running out and put a pillow under my head. And in, in her testimony, whenever the people ask her, why did she put a pillow under my head? Her statement was that, so I would pass as peacefully as possible. I was literally a smashed little kid. Weighed 49 pounds, I was about that tall. My face was destroyed, my hip was ripped open, my foot was smashed in half, and by all intents and purposes, by all intents and purposes, I was smashed. Luckily, all our, all our prayers were answered, and within one year, I was back playing baseball, hunting, and fishing and um, what could have been the end of the road actually turned out to be just the beginning of the road because I learned things 
whenever I was hit by that car and the aftermath after that, I learned that rules are in place for a reason. And although you might not think that rule is important, rules are there for a reason. And yeah, I always wonder what it would be like to have two normal feet. You know, I live with a constant pain in my foot, but that pain is a reminder that life is, is precious and that you've got to spend every day living it to the best. And you can't just wallow in sorrow and feel bad. Oh, my foot hurts, this, that, or the other. Everybody has trials, everybody has heartaches and pain, and you just got to get up and push through it. So I appreciate all of you guys asking me about my foot, and I, I hope this gives you a little insight. And uh, if any of you wonder any other question, I don't care anything, any question, leave it in the comments below and we will do our best to make cool videos letting you know more about us. So thank you all so much. Please subscribe to our channel. Be a part of our YouTube family. We thank you, we love you, and we'll see you soon.